what to do. If you go over it, it will unsettle the car a bit more while landing. It's a really fast left-hander, after that go up. Yeah, so good morning comrades, welcome to the second day of, or actually second part of the first day of Scuderia Hanseat. We're not currently Blackfish Graphics because we did some updates to the car that you will see later on. But now let's go to the track because it's about to kick off again. After a quick refill and window clean, we are good to go. But before we proceed, let's get some supplies. Mm. Oh yeah, sure, thank you. So we've now arrived at Berkirk. And let's see how we should do it properly. Yeah, it's a, a very short that says uh, approach. approach. It's a very short approach normally. If you're in a fast car and uh, you're really fast, um, you're not scared for a louder left. There. Yeah, this is, with these guys here, the first time here, this is a section where Nicky Lauda nearly lost his life. Um, so it's a very famous part of the track. And uh, with a DT3, uh, it's up to 210, 215 or 220 kilometers. It's really fast. Now the approach is a little bit uh, <laughs> tight, <laughs> and um, but still um, we have this situation now. And uh, yeah, you start from the stop sign, and um, yeah, for the approach to Bergwerk, um, it's really difficult to find here the perfect entry because you come from this part and you you have the feeling the corner begins here, but the corner begins. 20 meters later, yeah, it's a late apex, and um, where I parked the Alpine in this part, I'm still in the corner. And what it makes for me much easier in the last years is when they make this fence, they make it new and they bring it more to the track. And you have fence two years, this sign 125 sign. Now you come out of the Nicky Lauda left, go up out to the middle, yeah, a little bit track out to the middle, and with my eyes, I'm here on this side. And this is not the entry point, yeah, this is much too early, but for your eyes, for the view, this is the perfect way. Yeah. Look to the side, make a straight, it's a nice braking area, and after the sign, begin softly to steer, not like that, softly and you come perfectly in to Bergwerk. Yeah. Carry a lot of speed inside the corner because the most people break to this point, stop here with braking and see, oh, okay, I have 20 meters left. Yeah. You can break much longer into the corner and carry a lot of speed into this section. That's a proper pit stop. Yeah. 
I go for a muesli bar this time. Well, that section was definitely fun, and I must say I'm very impressed by the confidence that this car gives. Of course, together with modified suspension, and it also has different brakes on the front, but the handling is crazy. The downside is the, the seats, they are stock. So, let me see, can we, yeah. So the stock seats, non-bucket seats, and when you're going 220, roughly through the corner you really well kind of need the extra support because you end up holding to the steering wheel and yeah that's a bit uh unpleasant i would say unpleasant yeah you, you can go faster but those speeds are yeah very good so porsche i'm very excited to what you're gonna do with uh 992 gt3 and even gt3 rs but where the technology has come already by now it's just crazy Okay, the next section, I believe, from here on towards Brunchen, from Oak to Brunchen. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, thanks. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Another very cool feature of the 992 is the spoiler on the back. When it's flat, it's flat, it kind of goes with the shape. But when it's up, it's perfectly straight, so you can put some food on it. It's great. I like also this little modification that Paul did to his car. He put a black stripe between the braking light, so now it looks like separated. It's very subtle and very nice, because otherwise it would be completely red, this whole part. And uh, we managed to get the road dry, so we just don't talk too much, so we get to start with driving. And again, we have four guys here, and who are it's myself, the dentist, Peter Fangert. Then the race driver Manu Metzger in Nippermann. Yeah. The rally race driver Ruben Zeltner in Eschbach. And the race driver again Tim Sherbert here in Exit München. Uh, for me in, in Hoach it's important to see uh, to, to, that you manage to get to the both apexes. You can play with the entrance. Normally the entrance should be where the right curb is ending when you come out of the wood. The red and white painted curb. Look what you like more and your car likes. And if you come to the left apex nice and precisely and fast enough, then it's normally okay. On the right apex, uh, there's a new tarmac. Uh, yeah, it's a little bump, bump, it's a little bumpy. Yeah. Don't be afraid, but it's normal now. And uh, use the whole road at the exit to the left side. Be careful there with the powerful cars. The car wants to oversteer. It's flattening out and a little bit banking maybe to the outside as well. But use the whole road to the left side for the next one. This is hit this here. Break over the crest after the crest turning in, not too late. This is in the hint from uh, Manuel. And there's a lamp post. Uh, or a speaker pole in the inside, it should be the apex for hit Sur and it exits. It's important to leave some space for the next left kink over a crest, and there waits Manu Metzger, you and your cars. I don't wait there, but I can hear you already. <laughs> <laughs> so exiting Hedrickshöhe, you just let the car roll to the outside, carry momentum, go over the little crest, position your car to the left, approaching Lippermann, turn in early, not too late, because I want you to carry as much speed as you can into the right-hander. And then you see me standing behind the guardrail with my nice red jacket and my umbrella. So ideally you aim for me in a straight line. It means in the right hand corner at the apex you look ahead with your eyes, you focus on the inside curb on the left hand side and you make a nice line towards that uh, towards the curb. Your car is straight then, you can use that to slow the car down by braking because you have no steering angle, the car won't do anything stupid. So that's uh, it's a good point to, to slow the car down. Then you hit the first apex Go off in the middle because the, if the curb, if you look on top, it's not round, it's like more straight in the middle. I want you to go wider and then go back to the second apex. That you get a nice radius and then you get a nice approach for the right hand side curb, the big one. So for the big curb, I always hear the questions, do you take it, do you leave it? Um, in the end it's up to you, whatever you like best and what your car likes best. Um, I sometimes take it, I sometimes leave it. Time-wise, in a race car, it's like three hundredths of a difference. So, in the end, it's your choice what you do. If you go over it, it will unsettle the car a bit more while landing. Um, that's the only thing. It's a bit more relaxed when you drive around it. Then, um, we are driving in direction to Eschbach. We have this, uh, let's say, uphill right-hander. Um, at the lowest point, ideally, you tap the brake shortly, you steer in, because the car there has the, has the most load, as it's a little compression. The car won't turn in really good because you have a lot of load in the front. Then you come over the crest, the exit is a bit blind, but yet you can go very far to the left hand side to the rattle stones, and from there on, Ruby yeah. takes over. So you see, you approach the crest on the left side, there, the rattle stones. Yeah, and then you see 
this is from Kevin Estre mm -hmm. with the GTR RS. Um, and the turn in point is before here, before the Yokohama sign. You see it here? Very smooth, gentle. Just here. And then here you brake hard on the straight and then reduce the, the pressure, the brake pressure into the corner, but brake into the corner to put weight on, on the front that you have no understeer in, in the yeah, corner. Then you have the first apex, it's very, very important. It's in the inside yeah, here. On the beginning of the corner there is the apex, the first apex. You see the black rubber here, yeah? And then he, he breaks until here, you see? And then at the end of the corner there's the second apex. You want a steering angle, you go through the corner, yeah? And you see here it's full on the throttle. You see here? Yeah, it's so that's what one should be. It's up to you. Uh, at the end of the corner, you see he brake full, and there is on the left side is the um, tarmac triangle. Mm. And on the end of this tarmac triangle, this is to turn in point to the, the first Grinning corner. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit bumped. Uh, Easy. Yeah, a little bit bumped over there. Yeah, when you go inside. Yeah. So, everything okay? Yeah. Nope. Very Not good pictures. Yeah. Really very good, good pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I like <You> them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now for the last corner, like Wum said, um, the entrance here at Wunschen Entry, and here at the exit, I can see you, because my point for today on, on Wednesday day is um, where the marshal post is so in dry conditions try to use here a bit the red and white painted curbs that is the ID line in dry conditions not in red but in dry conditions then come back to the normal tarmac a good indicator for a turn in point for the upper right hander is uh, nearly at the end of the gray water stones on the left side and then a little help is if you turn in at that part a bit soft at the first moment then you can increase your steering angle because the apex here is really really late in the last third of the upper right hander uh, and here at the exit we normally in racing and in Scuderia we use here the grey water stones uh, that's a bit easier for your car you can a bit open your steering use the curbs uh, use the water stones and go easy here on the right side today a bit slower because we turn in at ice curve and on Wednesday we have an observer point and a good indicator therefore to an in point if you scratch with your front white tire nearly the white yellow painted four on the on the tarmac Indeed. and it depends on you if you use the white big curb or not mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yeah now. Yeah, the first two, the, was too much curb. Too, too much curb. Way too much. Yeah, I realized. If you see it from here, how the car bounces, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, it didn't like the left curb. Yeah. They're like, okay, let's yeah. do it. No, the last one was great. Okay, good. Very good speed. I'm surprised how fast it is, actually. On the street tires? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. No squeaking, just... Yeah. Yeah, it understeers a bit, but uh, you can correct it by lifting a bit. But. Looks nice. Yeah. 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 Y
nice but over the limit. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Happy to hear that. A little bit slower yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is 17 was improving all the way and the last one was the best one. Okay. Nice turn in, nice apex left, nice apex right. So, it is the end of day one, the video number two in the series of the Scuderia Hanseid with the 992 with JRC suspension. And man, what a day. I had a smile from ear to ear pretty much all of the time, whether it was me driving or Paul driving. Paul had also like a smile from, like probably from eye to eye. Are the eyes higher than ears? I don't know, it would be a very weird situation, huh? But no, all I wanna say, the event is amazing, the car is mind-blowing, everything is awesome, the people are cool, we have candy, we have uh, misty, we have all kinds of things, we had good weather the second part of the day, but it might change for tomorrow, so uh, we'll see how that's gonna turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed, I definitely have again one more time, It's it was absolutely fabulous. Uh, Paul is by the way already like getting some drinks at Piston Clause, so I'm gonna join him and uh don't drink and drive but uh, i'm walking from here and so is he so don't worry about that it was awesome looking forward to tomorrow uh for other sections um yeah see you then thanks for watching bye bye it's been a while since i had a steak on stone at pk why not